It's time now for our focus report. And this Friday, we're talking about recycling. When it comes to waste management and environmental awareness, Sweden is the world's heavyweight champion. The country recycles nearly all its waste and in the process also generates electricity and heating. Well, France 2's Claire Colnet has this report, voiced by Nicholas Rushworth. Sweden has turned its waste into gold. We're doing good business, and at the same time, we feel good about it because we're helping protect the environment. Out of the 4.4 million tons of Swedish waste each year, just 1% is dumped in landfill. How do the Swedes manage to do that? How come they are so far ahead of other European countries in the recycling business? This shopping center, 100 kilometers from Stockholm, looks no different to any other crockery and glassware, furniture, electrical goods are for sale. But all the items are, in fact, being recycled in a unique project. These computers, for example, are being repaired one by one for resale. And here you go. It's working again. OK, and here comes a DVD player. And it also has a VHS tape player and recorder. And is it working? OK, yeah, it works. I'm moving house, so there are many things that I won't be bringing along with me. That's how this treasure here turned up. Yes, and someone else can use them, and that's a good thing. A whole culture of recycling has sprung up in Sweden. This Frenchman, Jan, has been living in the country for 12 years and has adapted. He pays special care to sort all his kitchen waste. Take this banana peel, for instance. It goes here, the special bag for organic waste. The city of Stockholm supplies rubbish bags free of charge. The main rule is to separate the waste properly. This here is the bag for all the plastic waste. And I put the rest in here. Paper, magazines, glass and metal bottles. Consumers make a trip to a recycling centre on average twice a week. There's one nearby in every district, each with seven recycling bins. What we do for the environment just becomes part of the routine, and that is a source of satisfaction. Each person has their own role to play in environmental protection. Swedish people bring in around 480 kilograms of waste per person per year. Half of it, metal, plastic, glass, goes directly for recycling. The other half also gets a second life. Anything that cannot be recycled is transported to power generation plants. From household rubbish to used packaging in all, 750,000 tonnes of waste is treated each year. Huge pincers drop waste into incinerators that turn it into energy. We have electricity producing turbines. And in the process, we also generate heat, which is made available to Stockholm residents. 100,000 people get heating that way, and 200,000 people benefit from the electricity we generate. The power generation causes hardly any pollution. Authorities say CO2 emissions are two times lower than the limits allowed. The system works so well that to keep incinerators working flat out, Sweden treats waste from other countries. 10% of the waste our company treats here is, in general, imported. Where do they come from? Mostly from the United Kingdom. Sweden imported 1.4 million tons of waste in 2016. Waste exporting countries paid 36 euros per ton, bringing in more than 50 million euros. We see waste as a commodity, a product one can sell or buy, just like other forms of energy. Waste is an efficient source of energy and it's also a very good way to reduce our environmental impact. Sweden wants to go further. It hopes to reuse 100% of its waste within three years and have no landfill sites at all. <laughs>